here at the FT uh, Pharma and Biotech Conference 2014. Looking forward to two days of great discussion uh, at a time of huge change in the healthcare industry. Our mission is to try and, and work out how this industry is, is, is going to change between now and 2020 and beyond with a key focus on, on technology um, and how uh, digital health is going to change these industries. This is, from the point of view of the National Health Service in England, an important moment because we have just set out our stall as to what the next five years of healthcare should look like in this country. The fact is that the NHS here has improved dramatically over the course of the last 15 years, the last 10 years and the last five years. I think this conference does something very important by bringing small companies, mid caps and the big companies together with the investors. This is an ecosystem and we need leaders at all stages to come together, share best practice, learn from each other and this FT conference here in London is a major event on the annual calendar and I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to be here today. Now, when I think about our industry, when I think about the science, I think uh, it, we are in, a, in absolutely amazing times. The science has never been better. You talked about the human genome. I think we can talk about the uh, s seminal moments in, in cancer therapy that's happening. I never, frankly, believe that it will happen in my lifetime. As Lloyds Bank, uh, we would like to have a bigger exposure to the life sciences sector on a global basis. So making ourselves heard and ourselves known as a partner to the FT is important to us. The thing about the Google technology that really appealed to us is that you could measure glucose uh, on a constant basis through a contact lens in the eye even if, if that technology is just used for the glucose lens, that could be uh, a breakthrough in terms of helping patients with, with diabetes around the world. Well, I've been to a number of the FT events and I always find them to be very stimulating. They bring, I think, the right players together in terms of key speakers who have different perspectives and then many people from the industry and uh, different parts of industry, so that's always a pleasure. When I read the Deloitte report on 2020 and, and the whole concept of R&D networks, that really resonated with me because I think that's what's happening. We were creating a much broader horizontal ecosystem for research and development. And when you think about the global environment and emerging markets, uh, we're going to see, I think, a lot more partnerships evolving in those spaces. For us to be able to be here and, and hear what these future leaders are saying in some of these critical areas of drug discovery and development was, was really important. We started with discussing whether the topic emerging markets is, uh, is something that we should even discuss in today's world because markets like China or Brazil are so important, uh, important these days and we've discussed issues such as how can we balance access to medici medicine with, uh, uh, with the financial success. I think this sector will be unrecognisable in five years. Uh, I think the way, the pace of convergence of different technologies, the way that uh, so many diagnostics and devices are all becoming digitalised, the way uh, drugs and diagnostics are beginning to align. Uh, I think there's a very, very exciting but very challenging process happening, which is challenging all of our silos. So I thought we had a great two-day conference. I was uh, impressed uh, with the audience. I was impressed with the panelists and the speakers that we had. Uh, I also think after nine years of doing this, this was probably the most optimistic crowd we've had in a number of years. We've had two fantastic days of discussion here in London. People feel pretty optimistic about the potential for this industry to exploit new technology, new science, to spur fresh growth. Um, what better place if you uh, really are passionate about something that can, can affect the lives of patients to kind of shout new ways of thinking from the mountaintops and uh, the, the Financial Times Conference was a very obvious place thus uh, MediData to do that. So thanks everyone for joining us here. If you weren't able to make it then we hope you can join us in 2015.